Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Evacuation Point, Suicidal, Gunslinger, and a bottle of water. Courtesy of a uh, superstore who sold it to me when I went there to purchase a water bottle. Actually, I was off work. I was working there. And then, I, uh, I went home one day, and I was like, man, I need a new water bottle. And so I picked up a water bottle on my way home, and that's how I got this water bottle. Would I recommend this water bottle? No, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. I want a, I want a lighter. I want a lighter water bottle. I've, I've talked about it. Perhaps it's just me being weak. But look, I want to be a little weak girl. Okay, that's that's my dream. You know. Encoding overloaded. Well, the OBS is yelling at me. I hope uh, I hope my sound's all good and everything's all good. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll we'll have to wait and see, won't we? It's, it's it's fine now. It's not yelling at me anymore. So. Might have just been because we loaded up a new game. Maybe it says that every time I load up a new game. I don't know. Maybe me. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to go this way, but we're going to go this way. Okay. I didn't want to go this way, but we're going to go this way. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to turn around and we're going to slaughter them all. So last episode, we talked about popcorn. Pretty much the entire thing. And cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Two things I love, but hate. Mostly cheese. That I hate. Oh, ha, ha, you moved. I didn't hit you in the right place anyway, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to argue that it was only because you moved. So that I seem better. I want to try Spelunky too. I might buy that for the Amajack tries today. So that could be a fun game to play now and then. You know, we could replace uh, whenever whenever gunfire goes, which not, not anytime soon. Gunfire's got a, a ways left in it still. Hey, I thought you died, dude. Gunfire's got a ways left in it. Um, I'm trying to get my like shirt lined up so that I don't have to worry about my 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 skin getting stuck to my desk and stuff. Um, Gunfire's gonna be around for a while. I'm liking Gunfire, having fun. We've been getting some wins, getting some successes, getting some failures. Um, horrible, painful failures. But. That's okay. You know, with uh, with progress comes um, I don't know. The opposite regression. Speaking of regression, I talk about Northern Line every now and then. Talk about uh, how I'm a fan of his and uh, how I watch his videos at times when I have the uh, when I have the time to. I like to fall asleep to it, and uh, how I, I model myself my my content after his because I. Uh, I do desperately want to uh, be in a similar kind of position because I love what he does and I want to do the same thing. And I'm not kind of copying him, but I, I do kind of aspire to. I don't know. It's uh, it's it's an inspiration is is what he is for me personally. And um, but he just had uh, he just had uh, he just had a kid. You know, he had uh, his little baby daughter. I believe I don't. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm I'm like 99 percent sure that uh, like either as of the time of recording this, I don't know. But I, as as of the time of the video going up, I don't know. But uh, as of the time of recording this, I think it was a day or two ago, and it's Friday today, so like I don't know Thursday or Wednesday or something like that. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. He just had a baby, you know, and he's taking his uh, he's taking his leave for for a month to uh, focus on raising his baby, and I'm kind of like. Dude, you're only taking a month? <laughs> Where are you going, bud? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to you, okay? I'm gonna come to you. Like he's only taking a month, he's got like a new baby he's gotta worry about, he's only taking a month off. Uh, but the content's gonna slow down afterwards, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure. I'd I'd be shocked if it didn't. But it's uh, it's kinda got me thinking anyway. About um because this isn't the first time that something like this has happened to you see, it's so, it's so bad. I'm like, just I'm being so wrong. No, but it's not the first time that something like this has happened to me. Where a, uh, a YouTuber that I watch, that I uh, that I like to watch, has has had to take a leave or quit or um, stopped producing videos or whatever for, for a period of time or permanently because of a situation that has arisen in their life. Um, and uh, it's, it's always like sad, you know, because it's not like I feel like I'm a friend. Of, uh, of Northern Lions, really, right? Because, like, I'm not his friend. I'm, I'm a viewer. 
I'm uh, I'm, I'm not a friend, right? I have uh, I don't I don't have any uh, any issues with with thinking that I might be a friend or anything more than that. Like I'm a viewer. I, I mean nothing to him personally. You know, I'm I'm you know like I I just me personally. He he won't be affected if if like. I disappeared off the face of the earth. Like he would he'd be completely unaffected, wouldn't even notice, right? Like I don't personally really mean anything to him because he doesn't even know me. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's not the point. The point is that it is sad because like um, even though he's not like a friend, it kind of feels like you're taking a break. It's it's the same kind of feeling as when you were taking a break or when when you leave a friend or something. Even though that's not what he is, because you know. He doesn't even know me, and that's not that's not a shot at myself. That's not a oh he doesn't know me. He never recognized. Not like he he's got like a million people that watch him. Like <laughs> I've I've never I've never spoken to him. I've never seen him personally. I uh, anyway that, that again that's not the point. Um, the, the point is is that uh, it gives you that same kind of feeling, which is kind of kind of crazy that uh, that it happens. You know I always uh, I always feel weird when people talk about like their their celebrities or their singers or whatever have died, and I'm like. Yeah, it sucks, but like, I don't know why you like. I don't. I don't really care. But I guess. I guess it's kind of a similar thing, right? Like you grow attached to the person, and it's not necessarily a friendship, but uh, there's there's an attachment there nonetheless. And then uh, they disappear, and it's like, huh? There's 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 this like emptiness left, you know? And. Uh, it feels it feels bad but I mean at the same time it's like yeah he's got a, he's got a child now he's excited about that that's obviously good it's not a bad thing that he's gone but um it's uh it does it does feel it does feel sad to to not have that uh, to not be able to wake up and, and see that content to not be able to you know the, the habits are broken and uh, you know well my problems are obviously much less significant than him having a child to look after um, yeah, I'm not the one that has to look after the child, so <laughs> you know, like I, I only get to be affected by it uh, negatively until you know we get excited because he has a kid and whatnot. But it's uh, yeah, it's gummy. It's it's like um, so much, so much can happen just because of this reliance on uh, on the internet for 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 content. You know, and I don't I don't think that. Uh, like I I personally I I, I know that, uh, but I think that'll. I, I personally know that I, I have a, a certain attachment to the YouTubers that I watch. You know, and if they were to, like, die or something like that, like, I'd be obviously, like, heartbroken because of it. And, um... I, I, think, I think that it's weird to think about, just because, like... This guy that I, I've never seen before, <laughs> you know? I mean, I've, I've seen him on, like, videos and stuff, but I've never, like, met him. I've never spoken to him, right? I don't live that far away, but... Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna go over to Vancouver just to... <laughs> to go say hi to Northern Iron, like, no. Um, and if I'm over in Vancouver, like, he's 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 a low priority to to go see. He just he just doesn't matter, you know. You have to go. Um, he's he's a low priority, right? Um. But anyway, okay, you have to also go. Please, please. Um, he, he, yeah, so uh, I've never, I've never met him before. I've never spoken to him, but uh, his disappearance still affects me to to such an enormous degree. You know, or it could, it would have if I wasn't uh, consuming all my time with producing my own content. <laughs> like these days, I'm barely even watching um, stuff of his anyway. So like, you know, yeah, it it sucks that he's gonna be gone, and I'm not gonna be able to. To watch new videos coming out from it anymore, but it's uh, I, I also like I have such a huge backlog of videos to watch from him anyway that I'm just like whatever. I'll be I'll be I'll, I'm gonna be like pretty much unaffected by it. But I don't know. It's 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 a weird thing to kind of think about for me because uh, yeah, like I've never I've never met the guy before, but but his disappearance is, is still meaningful to me. What a what a novel idea that is. I think personally. I think it's I think it's kind of novel. Anyway, enough about enough about that. It's cool that he's having a baby. It's uh, it's exciting for him. Not so much for me cuz like again, I'm not the one having a baby. I don't really care. <laughs> but 
He's excited about it, and he's the one that's having the baby, so he's the one that matters. You know? My 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 opinion on, on having a child doesn't matter. I don't really want kids. You guys want kids? I don't. I don't think that uh, I don't think I'd be a responsible parent for one. You know, I, I I think that I would I would fail to to be a responsible parent if I if I were to to have children. I don't I don't think that I'd be able to handle that kind of responsibility. Um, so I don't I don't want to bring kids into this world and, and be irresponsible about it and and not uh, and not have uh, the ability to take care of them as, as well as they good and as well as I should and and give them the lives that they deserve. I don't think that I'd be able to do that. So I don't uh, I don't want kids for that reason. But uh, also, you know, I uh, I think that having kids could be cool. You know, and if you guys have kids or you guys want kids, you know, that's that's your own prerogative. You're allowed to, to want kids. You're allowed to enjoy having kids. It's it's fine. Uh, just just for me for my life, it's uh, not really something that uh, that I desire so much. Cause um, you know, now and then I think about how cool it would be to like have a child you know I'd be adopting but um to adopt a child and 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 see it like grow up and 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 learn and and, and all that kind of stuff I think that'd be really cool you know I think that'd be really really cool to, to 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 see that happen and help that along because I I get a lot of enjoyment out of that when I'm helping you know people learn how to do things in games or or, or helping people with with whatever problems they have in outside of games and stuff I, I really enjoy that kind of stuff and Help them out as, as much I can, uh, and so to to be able to see that like start to finish would would be a pretty cool and rewarding experience I think. But you know after I'm done thinking about that I'm like yeah but then you have to spend like a ton of money on it and it takes up a ton of time and you know what else is pretty cool? Video games. <laughs> I'm like yeah you know don't need any kids I got video games. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not totally excluding the possibility of children in the future. You know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm. Uh, I mean, I can't have children, but uh, like that. That that possibility is gone. That possibility is long gone. Uh, I cannot have children. It is physically impossible. Um, but um, mostly because you know, I don't. I don't have the the uh, the necessary things with which to. Uh, anyway. To, to to bury a child I don't uh, I don't have that capability as a, uh, as a as a person of my capabilities um, anyway <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm like 27 28 or whatever I don't know that, that's maybe a little bit I'm 25 for now that's maybe a little bit soon maybe, maybe I'm like 30 ish you know I'm around 30 ish and uh, you know I'm, I'm with you know boyfriend fiance husband whatever and uh, you know, at that point in my life, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe a kid would be fine. You know, we we have money. You know, we have time. We we're good. You know, and maybe maybe at that point, I'd I'd be willing to do it. So no, I'm not completely ruling it out. Like I'm not saying I'm never gonna have kids. I think it's uh, you know, never say never, as it were. But for for me personally, I just I think that uh, I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't get enough of a. I mean, I'm pretty of an emotionally distant person anyway, as it as it stands. Um, Have you checked your ammo? So, I don't know. I, I think I think it would just be more uh, more effort than it's worth for for me personally. Which makes the whole like, because you, you you go on like, um, okay, we're get we're getting into the the nitty gritty here. You go into, <laughs> um, like OK Cupid or Tinder or something like that. You know, looking for. You know, somebody to maybe go out and have coffee with or something like that. And uh, you look, look on their profiles and it's like, want kids? Yes. Want kids? Yes. Want kids? Yes. Want kids? Yes. I'm like, look. I I may one day want kids. Currently, I don't want them. I think it would be irresponsible for me to start a relationship with somebody and be like, yeah, I don't want kids. But maybe in the future, you know, I'm not ruling it out. But, like, I really don't want kids right now. You know, I'm like, it's, it's just, it's not, a, it's not a responsible decision. You know? So it's uh, it makes it makes it kind of fun when you're when you're going through and it's just like hours pass because and then it's just like yeah no nobody nobody exists that doesn't want kids right now <laughs> they're all gone because there's um I I feel like there's a certain um 
like, uh, I don't know, there, there's a certain crossover between people who don't want kids and then people who just don't really care about relationships in general. Um, so most people who are looking for a relationship would also want children, you know? Like, people would go out of their way to, to be on, like, a dating site or something like that would want children. And I'm not, I'm not totally excluded from that because I have not been on one in, like, a year, you know? Like, I just, I don't really care about it enough. Um, and that's, that's my point. I, I think that uh, largely people who wouldn't want children, um, I don't know, I, I feel like there, there, there's, there's, there's probably a similar kind of a, a thing to, uh, you know, the indifference towards children and then, you know, also having an indifference towards a, a relationship. And, uh, you might not, you might want one, but like, I don't know, like, I guess it's, it's, it, yeah, it makes it, uh, makes it certainly fun when you're, when you're, when you're looking around and that kind of stuff. I and mean, the other thing that makes it fun is the whole, like, uh, trans thing. <laughs> you look on their, on their profiles, would you trade a trans woman? No. Okay, bye. <laughs> like, you can't blame them, you know? Can't blame them. They, they don't want what they don't want. That's okay. But, it does make it, uh, like just terribly a terribly terribly unfun experience anyway enough about that enough about that dude did we even fight a flesh pound no we fought quarter pounds yeah wish they differentiate between quarter pounds and flesh pounds cuz uh, you know they're not the dang same thing dude they're very different I don't know I haven't uh, Oh god, I haven't been in a relationship in like 10 years. <laughs> last, last last time I uh I was I was dating anybody was was like, yeah, 10 years ago. I was I was 15 years old. <laughs> I just I haven't had any uh real desire to to start looking for anything, you know. And a lot of people think that it well, you know, if you feel this way, that that's your own product. Dude, that's a billion sirens. It's a uh what what would it be? A series of sirens? A, a, Wobble of sirens? I don't know. Dude, it's a lot of sirens though, what the heck? A lot of people like to, you know, don't don't feel fulfilled until they have a relationship, and if you feel that way, that's fine, you know. That's that's your own prerogative. I don't uh I don't judge anybody for anything, but um me I don't I don't really care. So I'd like one someday, you know? But that's for the future, you know? Neither for future me. I'll worry about it later. You know, when it happens, it happens. That's kind of how I feel about it. I don't really mind being single. All my friends, you know, it's, uh... All my friends growing up are, like, married and stuff now. <laughs> I'm like... Yeah, I'm at, I'm at that age now where, where the people around me have, like, kids. You know? Like, my, my friends have kids who are like in school you know they're going to like zoom elementary and uh oh it's weird man it's weird i mean the first time i uh, i had friends who got married was when i was about uh 18 or 19 i think and people started getting married and i'm like oh my god what the heck and uh you know a few years later they start having kids and stuff and i'm like dude i'm still sitting here like <laughs> Um, a nobody. But, uh, I, I think if you compare yourself to, to, to people, you're never going to be happy, you know? So I don't really, I don't really worry about it. I don't think I'm less of a person because I'm not married yet. I don't think I'm less of a person because I don't have kids. You know? It's, uh, it's fine. I'm me. And I'm happy with me. And that, that's the important part, right? But, uh... Yeah, no, it's, uh... It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was weird at the start because, like... You, you just, like, people just finished school and, like, like, yeah, I don't even know what I'm going to do with my life. You know, I'm not even, like, I haven't gone to, like, I dropped out of school, right? Like, no college, no education, really, and, um, people are getting married and stuff and having kids, and I'm like, dude, your lives are, like, you know, you're, like, you're, you're, you're settled, <laughs> you know? You're, like, you're, you're where you want to be in your life, and that's, uh, that's impressive. I'm not there yet, but, uh, you know, it's okay. And COVID kind of threw a, a wrench in the loop for me, but, um, you know, it's fine. The way the way I always look at it is, you know, the average life expectancy is like, what, 80 years or something like that? 
I got another, you know, 55 years left until I'm probably, you know, expected to die. <laughs> um, you know, I still got, I still got plenty of time to, 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 to change my entire life plans. You know, everything I have done in my life so far, every single thing I have done, I could do again, and I would still have an entire life that I've already lived left to continue living. You know. I can uh, I have I have plenty of time to, to make changes and adjust things. I mean it's you're never too old to to improve yourself and, and work on things, right? And uh, I don't think there's any merits to to rushing through life and getting married at uh, 19. I don't think there's any demerit to it. I just I don't think there's any merit to it, you know. I don't think it's good or bad. I think uh, what what mo what matters most is whether you're content with it and. Uh, as long as you are, it doesn't matter if you if you're married at you know, 18 or 25 or 48 or whatever you know. As long as as long as you're happy with where you're at, I think that's the uh, the important thing. And comparing yourself to people who who might have gotten married before you or had children or been successful or had careers or whatever, I mean, it's just you know, you're not you're not them. And uh, you don't have to you don't have to worry about it. it took me a while to get past that because I kind of felt I kind of felt inadequate and people started getting married and stuff and. But, uh, and especially back then, because I wasn't happy, you know, was the other thing, because, like, yeah, like, as long as you're happy, that's what matters, but, uh, back then, when, when all this stuff was happening, I wasn't happy. I was, I was incredibly depressed, and, um, it, uh, I had, I had to kind of get through that, and I was, I wasn't able to be like, yeah, I'm happy with my life, I don't have to worry about it, because I wasn't, you know? And then I and then I also felt inadequate by it, and I was like, eh. It's incredible how much like, how much of a difference just like seven years can make, you know. So like it was seven years ago when I was 18 years old. I was I was you know I hit my depression, the the the, the lowest point in my life. I, I I spiraled like way out of control. I, I just lost all of my friends because I just completely abandoned everybody. I disappeared off the face of the earth. Lost my job and you know like everything that could possibly have gone wrong you name it it went wrong you know it was like like I was like planning on running away from home like you know you know um, the, the, the current difficulty of, uh, of this match um, you know like all of the uh, all of the badness was uh, was there just uh, seven mere years ago and now you know I'm, I'm probably one of the most content people in my friend group because I'm, I'm very very happy with my life right now and I love it and uh, I only see it getting better and it's like just just seven years is is all it was you know seven years ago I was like at the end of my line and I just I hated everything and uh, now I'm 25 and I'm like yeah I haven't really succeeded in anything yet but like I just I feel so happy you know and it's like I got 55 more years left I can do another of those like seven year changes like what seven times <laughs> you know like that that's a lot of change that I can make and a lot of improvements that I can make to my life so I never really feel uh, short on time <laughs> so much in life I mean in the day in the day I feel short on time all the time but in life it's like you gotta start accomplishing things before you're 30 I'm like I'll, I'll do it when I wanna which is like now but you know I'll do it when I wanna which is now because I, I do want to accomplish things before I'm 30 but I have 55 years left, you know? I'm in no rush. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.